if you're all flaunting about money and your your career and that's all the guy is going to see you and you're going to get someone who's like more like a backup dancer Hi everyone, I'm Cindy V. King, I'm the Sexy Love Scientist and today I'm going to be talking about masculine women and what does a masculine woman look like? So a masculine woman actually is very driven with her career, so her career comes first before anything else. So she's a career woman, that's what it's been known for. In today's society, we want equal pay and, e and equal power. And there's nothing wrong with these women. That they have their bills are paid. They have everything is already encountered. They have all the material things. And so I find like a lot of masculine women, they actually, with my clients especially, they actually roam. So roaming is going from the head to heart. So they go both ways. They're a lot logical thinker. They're actually driven with their mind first. So they do things logically. And, and the biggest problem that a lot of I hear complain about alpha women is they end up dating guys that are betas. So betas in, in the sense of passive, more into the feminine energy. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually quite interesting because they don't want what you call Peter Pan. And what does Peter Pan entails? And I'll talk about the more a little bit detail about the archetype later in my other videos. So watch out for that. So Peter Pan, they don't want to attract Peter Pan and Peter Pan is too hard for them to make that soul connection and they feel like mother and they don't want to be in that role. So what they need to be doing as a, an alpha woman is be self-aware who you're energetically uh, trying to impress here. If you're all flaunting about money and your, your career and that's all the guy is going to see you and you're going to get someone who's like more like a backup dancer and if you want that energy, there's nothing wrong with that, right? A lot of celebrities today actually, for example, JLo is a perfect example. She ended up dating really good looking guys, but they're beta men, right? They're backup dancer and, and they prefer for the woman to lead the relationship. And being an alpha woman, there's so much benefit being an alpha woman. It's like you're independent. You have your own identity. And really, here's the thing about being an alpha woman. We're a strong exterior. Interior, we're very sensitive. So how a man speaks to you makes a big difference. You tend to like men that actually can speak to you very softly and not aggressively but more softly that like actually you can listen through your heart. That's the only way that any man can get to you is learning how to desensitize. So that means be less dominant and have instead of having all your walls upwards. It's so important to bring down those wall when you're speaking to certain men as well. So if you're surprised that if you are attracted to more of a beta man and beta man wants you to pay for his meal tickets and pay for his car and pay for whatever that might entail, let me know in the comment below. I want to hear what's experience in the dating world if you are dating someone who is a backup dancer of Peter Pan or you're more a mother figure. So I'm going to be talking about the archetype so watch, subscribe to my channel so I, I can let you know a little bit more details about the archetype that I'm going to be presenting to you. Alright now. If you found this video helpful please share it with your friends because sharing is caring. There is three things that you can do right now. You can subscribe to my newsletter, see the link below. When you're at there, go ahead, hit the like button, and remember to subscribe because I post new social media and video every week. If you have an idea for a video, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.